What's up guys, it's TDAO9 and I'm just going to show you how to auto-tune your voice in the settings with Mixcraft 6.1. Uh, this is a trial version, I think the, the real version is quite expensive, so I'll just try it. I've been watching a couple of videos of uh, Got Drums and I was thinking, I want to do that voice, it sounds so sick. So I decided to make a video, I'll find out what to do. If you want to just do it yourself and record some stuff. I presume you can save it in a file, you can add it to your YouTube videos if you want to do it like that. Uh, so what we're going to first do is obviously open mine, uh, Mixcraft 6, and this will uh, open, so what we'll do, we'll open project, there we go, and then we close this. Uh, so basically, that's what you're going to start with, with the new 6.1. If you have an, old, uh, an older version, I presume the same, will be there still. But what you need to do is first arm it. So you hear my voice here, but you won't be able to hear my the the tuned voice because it, uh, Camtasia doesn't record this, unfortunately. But if you want to hear yourself, you click that. I can hear myself now. So if you want to check it, if it works and whatnot, uh, and there, so there's your FX with your different voices. Um, this is solo for so this will close down, and so basically, what you do is click that when you want. So obviously, you want to hear yourself. Click FX and then you find a thing called G Snap Pitch Correction. And when that pops up, what you want to do, really uh, simple thing to do, is edit it and it will pop up. What you're going to do is set this to 41 or 40. Uh, this the max to 2000. This the minus 80. Let me catch you up. And speed to one. Then the fresh is 300. Uh, if you can get it close to that, uh, amount is 100. If you can again get close to it, MS will be uh, two, so the attack or one, one or two doesn't really matter. And that being the lowest one, and you leave those be really. And what you would do is set your key. Uh, mine is like a E to G sharp, I suppose, and then you can click. Uh, for G sharp you want to use that one, uh, for E you want to use major. So you click that, click OK, and it's active. If I hit press this button now I can hear myself voice. Hello. Yep, there we go. And that's what it sounds like. To me, I, unfortunately I can't make you hear it, but I guarantee it's doing that and you'll find out when you do it yourself. Uh, what you need to do is save it. I've already saved mine, uh, which is, I called it auto-tune. So you just call it whatever you like, um, and just close it down, and basically just go back to FX, and it's all the custom you add it here. Or and there's also preset, uh, preset um, things in here as well. So if you can't do it yourself, it's here. Sometimes I couldn't find them last time, but they are here in the demo version. I'm not really sure what happens in the full version, but that is there. And basically, just you just talk and record yourself down the bottom here, recording and do what you like and and it, what got got drums uses is similar to this, but he's most likely to connect to his phone and does what not not. But you can make different, you can add different things as well. So you can add a chorus, so echo, just like what he does. He's got an echo, hasn't he? So if you can get out of that, just comment at the bottom saying got it just right, got drums or uh, anything like that. So if you please comment, like, and subscribe about this video. And I'll be happy to answer any questions that you need. And I've also got Twitter accounts, TDAO9. Just made it really. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter now. When as soon as I upload my new videos and whatnot, all that uh, pops up. So thanks for watching. And yeah, cheers. Enjoy yourself.